Well, there's no denying it that mountain ash is one of my favorite woods to turn. And the other day, though, my uh, neighbor came by and surprised me with uh, with a few logs of, of mountain ash. I gotta show you these. These are great. What a haul. <laughs> Look at the size of this piece here. Triple crotch here. We've got three branches coming out. A little bit checked on the ends, but not too bad. Apparently these have been sitting in the dump for, for quite some time. We've also got this one here. Again, nice big massive chunk of wood. Chunkle crotch, no less. And this is all mountain ash. That was sitting at the dump, <laughs> apparently. And I took one of the pieces. Here's a, another piece that I got, and I I cut it in half because uh, I wanted to see what was uh, what was going on in there. Let me show you what I did. I uh, cut it in half and then I milled it on the table saw until I got some nice sized uh, square blanks. And then just uh, just to see what I was in for, I turned a piece just a just a cylinder. I didn't even cup it out or anything, and I put some uh, beeswax finish on it. <laughs> wow, really nice grain, and uh, yeah, it's uh, it's really uh, really cool how the different trees give you different colors. I have a piece of the other mountain ash here, not quite as yellow. I, I mind you, I don't have any uh, finish on here, but well, let me give me give me a second. And bam, magic television, right? YouTube television, whatever. But there we go. Colors are just slightly different, but still incredible. Incredible piece of wood. I was going to, uh, originally I was going to turn that small blank um, that I got off the uh, mountain ash, but changed my mind. So I cut off, cut in half the, uh, the one crotch piece. I've marked a circle on it in the center. It's a totally different day by the way. <laughs> Got carried away with other stuff and that's just how it works sometimes. Uh, but yeah, so what I'm gonna do, um, I was gonna mount it on my screw but you know I haven't used my my plate for a while so I'm gonna use the face plate. I'm gonna screw it in using inch and a quarter wood screws. Uh, just gotta find one more. <laughs> Okay, here we go. I've got my inch and a quarter wood screws. I'm going to put these on the inside of the plate, closest to the center. I've got that pretty much centered, centered enough anyway. Yeah, just for a little extra security, I'm going to go around the perimeter. I'm just uh, really happy to have a neighbor that uh, thinks to bring me chunks of wood. It's awesome. There we go. Now I'll just take off four jaw chuck here. And pop this in place. I have to go crazy with it. There we go. Now let's see if she takes flight. So I just got to trim off the ends a little bit, and uh, yeah, I don't have a bandsaw, so I can't uh, cut a perfect circle, and I don't have a, a setup for my table saw to do that. So that's the way it is. Okay, just getting this set up now, so I can knock off some of these corners. Do that. First, I think I need to sharpen it a bit. All right, I'm gonna use my nice big bowl gouge to knock off these corners. And uh, yeah, let's see, if clear that, nice and tight. Good. I'm trying to have my lowest speed right now. Alright, 
move my tool rest a little bit. Oh, this is going to be lovely. This is going to be lovely. Earl, if you're watching this, thank you very much, buddy. And Earl is the name of my neighbor that brought me this magnificent chunk of wood. Here we go, we're going to continue on here. Again. I don't like getting too far away from the tool rest. Roughing things out. There we go. Flatten up the bottom. Get it ready for my mortise. Okay, lovely. Now, I'm gonna get some sandpaper and sand down the bottom of this bowl. So there's the bottom after having been sanded. And it's got one coat so far of uh, the uh, Clapham's Clapham's yeah Clapham's salad bowl finish beeswax salad bowl finish. And I just love this grain. This is just crazy. Beautiful, beautiful piece of wood. I'm gonna flip around, put it in my four jaw chuck in expansion mode, and. Uh, Start carving away the inside of this beautiful, beautiful piece of wood. Oh Lord, look at this, look at this. <laughs> I think I'm gonna make this nice thick hole. It's really... It, it, it's it's wobbling quite a bit, but I think what's happening is because of a because of it being a crotch, there's a different density on this side than there is on this side because I have two branches coming out here, and just the one coming out the bottom. That seems to be the case because my chuck is running smooth, but this the uh, the blank still seems to uh, want to really vibrate on me. Anyway, I'm going to continue on and. Uh, start carving out the inside of this bowl. <laughs> <laughs> 